Good morning, everyone. Out here on the Marin County coast, we're dropping some crab pots today. Got eight of them. Eric's gonna be going out on his longboard. He's got his wetsuit on. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be loading the crab pots up with all the bait. We got salmon heads, some rockfish carcasses. Uh, we'll also do a little bit of crab snaring in this spot as well. It's really nice out. All right, stay tuned and let's see how it goes. All right, well, there he goes, first pot. Pick a good spot. Alright, so I'm going to zip tie this squid in, uh, that should help it not get taken out as easily. So we're going to go ahead and cast this one out and then we'll reel that first one in. It's been out there for maybe close to 10 minutes. Eric's coming in. How was it? Pretty hard to get out there. Yeah, you're gone about 10 minutes. Do you have any bites? I just threw it out right now. So we're gonna pull up these uh, crab snares. These two have been soaking for maybe 15 minutes or so. We got one here. It's gonna be really close. Let's see here. Huh. They've all been so big this year on Waffle. This is six inches. Nice crab. Six inch keeper. Yeah, it's a keeper! I want to remind everyone that I'm doing a giveaway, uh, two crab snares. Uh, I made a video about a month ago, if you want to go ahead and check that out. Um, I did it so if it was, when it reaches 150 likes, I would give away the snares. I'm going to change that to 100. Last time I checked, we are about 75, and uh, I want to get those snares out to someone. So if you're interested, find that video. Um, I'll try to put the end of this one, and yeah. Got another one here on the snare. Looks like it's probably an undersize. Got some really nice colors to it though. That's really nice. Nice purple color. All right, let's give it a measure. So we're gonna find out if this one's legal right now. Uh, so it's short by about a quarter of an inch. It's about a five and a half inch right here. So we'll have to let him go. All right, well, Eric has the last pot on him, number eight. He's gonna go drop that right now. Um, we've gotten one on the crab snare so far, six incher. So we'll, uh, yeah, at least they're here. We should be able to get some in those pots since we got eight of them, right? Um, we're gonna go ahead into the town of Stinson right now and grab some breakfast, let those uh, pots soak. Then we'll come out and check them maybe about an hour and a half from now. Um, so yeah, stay tuned, we'll see what happens. So it's uh, 12 o'clock now. We just got back from eating some food down in Stinson Beach area. Um, I'm in this area right now because it's so windy. It's just trying to stay protected uh, so you guys can hear me. If I'm out there, uh, you won't be able to hear me probably. So Eric's out there getting some pots right now. Uh, I don't think you can see him, but he's right out there. Um, I have no idea at this time if he's gotten anything. He's pulled up, it looks like one already. 
All right, so the wind pushed Eric all the way down there. So I'm gonna go pick him up, I guess. We'll see if he has any. Well, I just picked up Eric, side of the road, wasn't filming, and I was just worried about getting him up in the car and all the crap pods. What happened, Eric? Well, I uh, tried to be a hero and put all four pots on the board at one time and uh, caught a rogue wave. And then they all tipped over at the same time and uh, intertwined each other and all the ropes. So therefore I had to pull them all up again at once or else I could not pull up any of them. Um, yeah, I, I made it. Safe to say I paddled for my life back to shore. Not literally my life, I have a wetsuit on. So I mean, I, I fell over quite Did a bit. Did you get any crab? I mean, we got one, I think. I mean, I don't even know if it's a keeper. Looks like it's a keeper. Is it? Yeah. We had two. But... So there was two in there, and there was one two. got out. One got out with the, the three times I fell overboard. All right. Well, we got four pots all tangled up now, so those are definitely out of commission for the day. Um, you gonna get those other four pretty soon? Oh yeah. We're gonna go. All right. right Let's see what we got. Well, here I am meeting Eric on the side of the road again. This time I have it on camera. He didn't go down as far, luckily. Looks like he has one crab. It's a good one, huh? Got a good, got a good one. All right. Oh, I can pick that up. Well, here he comes in. Says he's got three. Four. So that's gonna be short. Way short. Oh yeah. Just short. Ah, uh, short. That one's a keeper, just barely. Which one are we going off of? We got one keeper out of the four. All 
All right, well, that's the seventh spot. How'd you do? Nice, beautiful. Looks good. Yeah, I fell over for once. Nice. That looks better. Yeah, I think some of those are keepers. Nice keeper. Yeah. Hell yeah. So that one's almost six and a quarter. That one's nice. The keeper? I think so. Oh, look at that one. Grab it. What is it? Your left leg. Grab it. No, I think it's different. Let me see it. What is that one? Black. It doesn't look like a kelp crab. Interesting. All right, well, we're back in the car, all loaded up, gonna head home. We got 10 keepers. Good job, Eric. That's right, 10 keepers. <laughs> he fell in, got the four pots singled up, but uh, my wetsuit, you know, yeah, a good time out here. And so, uh, we got one on the crab snare that we kept and uh, nine from the pots. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe.